Welcome back to my bathroom. I promise this is the last bathroom, shower, bathtub video I'm gonna do in a very long time. But during my testing kids bathtub toys video, I said I should maybe test adult bath time accessories. So I went and bought a bunch of bathtub accessories for adults, such as this thing to hang towels on. It's a ladder? I don't know. This uh, thing I got on Etsy that was really expensive and it's just a piece of wood to put over your bathtub and you can put like a drink here and your iPad here. I don't know. It's so you have a table in your bathtub. I also got Mr. Teal Super Moisturizing Avocado Oil. Ultra Moisturizing Foaming Bath. That was words. A bath pillow so that I'm not annoyed with how hard porcelain is. And then I went and I wanted it still to be fun because bath time should be fun, whether you're an adult or a child. And I already opened it because I needed to put batteries in it and I didn't want to submerge myself in water and then need to get batteries. It makes your tub glow. And then lastly, this was for babies. It's for a mom to use on a baby, but listen, I want to know the temperature of my bathtub. So it's a thermometer. It tells you how hot your bath is. I want it at 99 degrees. So I'm gonna get it to 99 degrees. All right, so let's fill this thing up and test my products. It said, it said a generous amount, so I put like a quarter of the bottle in. Let's see what happens. Let's smell it. it smells moisturizing. That is like a smell. If you, just, if you were to smell this, you would understand what I meant. Oh no, she's lost in the bubbles. I lost the thermometer in the bubbles. Or 94.5. The thermometer keeps changing temperatures. I'm trying to figure it out. We need to put the towel on the towel rack. I don't like that very much so far and I'll explain why once the water stops running. So that's a lot of bubbles. Now if you blow the bubbles off the temperature thing, it says it's at 103.2 and that means it's hot for a baby. I'm hoping it just cools down a little bit as we prepare everything. So um, I had to put this together and it took a really, really, really long time. And it's made out of really cheap wood and I got a splinter. But I feel like it's not tall enough. And there's like steps all the way, I'm gonna show you. There's like steps all the way down. What are you gonna put down there? Most of these things start here or here. And then, why am I leaking water? I feel like this is leaking water and I'm okay with that. Anyway, it's not tall enough. I just don't think I like it very much. Um, but apparently, I think it's supposed to be like decorative and not actually useful. But I'm gonna put my towel on it. So we got a little LaCroix here for this. This is set. You can put your, um, book, whatever you're reading there. So I'm gonna just put my phone there. Now let's set up our pillow. We're gonna do this on this side. Even though everyone's gonna tell me I'm wrong for putting this on this side, but listen, because I have this thing, I can't reach over to get the faucet. So I have to be on this side in case I need to put more water into something or whatever fix. This is in the way of the faucet. It's the only flaw of this, okay? Because if I was sitting over there, I wouldn't be able to get to that. So we all know we gotta put more water and take more water out when we're in a hot, whatever this is called. Now for the glow show. So I think this goes like, this goes into this. I don't know why, because there's a hole on that. So I don't know what that would do. On. Oh, it's a show. Okay. Oh, there's supposed to be a suction cup. I don't have that. I don't know where the suction cup went. So I'm just gonna, hold on. I just, you can, let me turn off all the lights. <laughs> that that kind of looks cool on camera. What, what are we doing to a solid color? But I have to tell you, it's lighting up a singular corner and it doesn't look cool. It's in the tub. It looks cool on camera, but I'm telling you in person, this looks, it looks kind of lame. Okay, oh God, I dropped it. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna turn it off and not use it because in person it's terrible. Also with the lights on, you can't see it at all. Oh, now you can't see anything. <laughs> all right, what temperature are we? <laughs> Don't get the bubbles in your throat. Holy, do not get the bubbles in your throat. Okay, it says we're at 103.8 degrees. That's a little hot for me, personally, but we still just gotta get in. So, okay, all right. This does not feel like 103. Not a chance. This is like maybe 99. Are you broken? Are the bubbles affecting you? This is actually, wait, this is actually quite, wait a second. <gasps> this? Extremely comfortable.
comfortable. Wait a second. It's, it's slouching with me. Hold on. It doesn't stay where you put it. Excuse me, you have one singular job and it's to stay where I put you. Wait, am I supposed to be here? Is it supposed to be like that? Okay, suction to where you're supposed to be. I'm gonna scoop down and I'm gonna get it. This is the most comfortable I've ever been in a bath. Hold the phone. Stop the parade. Call the governor. This is a comfortable bath. Usually I'm so uncomfortable because who enjoys their back on a hard porcelain? Not me. What, what temperature are we at? It still thinks we're at 104.9. 105.2? How is it getting hotter? This thing keeps telling me it's getting hotter. It's not getting hotter. That's like actually impossible. I know, I didn't heat it up that much. I really have to pee and I'm not gonna because that's gross to pee in the bath. I pee in the shower, not the bath. I will not sit in it, but oh my goodness, the urge is strong. Okay, um, I'm gonna say this thermometer I think is wrong because it keeps saying it's getting hotter in here when like science proves that that's not right because it's not getting hotter, it's getting colder because the air is colder and there is nothing pumping heat into this. 104.9, apparently. But I'm comfortable, I'd be sweating my boobies off if that was the temperature. Oh wait! Okay. The thing about bubbles is you don't want to just wipe them on anything. I'm going to use my towel hand here. It is nice to have a towel right there. They're a little far for me. There we go. Oh, this is more intimate. This is a more intimate setting. I am loving this back pillow. I could actually fall asleep in here. This is quite delightful. All right, I'm gonna move my tray. The tray seems a little haphazardous. I think that's a word. Because there's nothing keeping it from just like falling in if I were to like bump it with my knee that way, but let's be an adult about it. When I first got it, it was super greasy, not greasy, oily. But it's good. Okay, time to enjoy my bath as an adult. I think I might have put too many bubbles in because the aroma, or maybe it's because I swallowed that bubble. It's a lot for me at the moment. It's a lot. Okay, now to scroll on TikTok or on Instagram or whatever. Dry my hand off. Here we go. Okay, you can't swipe up because the things in the, the divot, can you see? The divot's in the way of swiping up. So you have to move that. Okay, there. Here we go. I'm just watching Jesus real quick. This is our Lord and Savior. There is no way. Bro, come on. I am enjoying myself in my bath. I should have gotten bath products for normal human ages, not children, a long time ago. This is, I, I think what it is is the back pillow. I think I'm like really enjoying myself with this thing. Like it's phenomenal. I feel so, could I fall asleep in this? Oh, I, yeah. I thought something was at my door. There's nothing at my door. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I can fall asleep. My mouth wide open like this. Yeah. That's pleasant. Oh, okay. I'm loving this. This is great. I wish there was a way to prevent it from like sliding that way. I personally guess I could put a little piece of wood on the bottom of this. This was this was handmade on Etsy. Got this one from Etsy. As I do the, I think the towel holder? I don't know, I'll have to check. So I could add to this. I could build it myself. Like the little stopper so it doesn't slide off. That's a possibility. I still really have to pee. I'm not going to, but I just wanted to let you all know the urge is still there. What degree are we at? Did we, did we, did we die? Apparently the thermometer died. Oh, we're back on. Apparently if you shake it vigorously, it works. Okay, I'm gonna let that, maybe it just needed to restart itself. We're gonna see what degree we are. It says we're above 100. We're at 101 so far. I don't think this, this thermometer works. This was like the easiest, most relaxing testing products video thing I've ever done. I'm out of things to test. I did it all. The light show was trash. Um, unless it's on camera, then it looks really cool. But in person, the light show is trash. This thermometer, I don't think works because it says it's 102.4 right now. And that's not true because I don't like to get in water above 100 and I'm very much enjoying myself and not sweating. Pillow, yes, to the day's end. I want this all over the bathtub. I want this, I want my whole bathtub to just be cushioned. 
This thing, fantastic. Towel thing, I don't really like. I'm like slightly scared that, that it's gonna get splinters on my towels. If, like I pull it off too fast, I don't like it. So what I do like, oh wait, even this. I like the smell of the bubbles. I feel moisturized. I like, I like, what is it called? Dr. Teal's Super Moisturizing Avocado Oil. I like it. So I liked three of the six. We got a 50% a 50 score, guys. I mean, in, in school that's failing, but on my channel, that's passing. This video did well. This did 100% up the whole bath experience for me. It's the pillow, man. It's the freaking pillow. It's so comfortable. All right, I think I'm done. I think this was it. I mean, adult bath accessories aren't as fun as bathtub toys for kids, but it is more realistic on the day-to-day -day life. I've enjoyed myself fully. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this too. Uh, please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're checking out my blog channel where I'm attempting Vlogmas but slightly failing. Um, and check out my podcast channel where I have two podcasts, All Things Internet and Rachel Uncensored. Also, just so you know, my merch launch is Friday, which is tomorrow. My merch launch is tomorrow. So check it out. Link to my merch shop below. Keep your eye out. I'll let you know on all the social medias when it's ready to go. And that's it. All right. I love you guys. I'm just gonna like enjoy my bath now. This is, this video was different. It's the first time I'm relaxed on camera, I think. Guten Abend, good night. Mit Rosen bedacht, mit Neglein bestimmt.